Today we are going to learn how to cross join tables in Power BI. First of all, thank you everyone for watching my videos. Um, I've been getting very good reviews on my videos and I've got now 138 subscribers which is very good. Uh, last time I made a video I had like 24 subscribers so thank you for your support. Keep supporting me and please um, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn tips and tricks that's the most type of videos that I do like I do like creating a date picker or setting dynamic targets setting changing dates and so on and today we're going to learn how to cross join tables in Power BI so uh, what does cross join mean right so you must have come across a scenario where you have this table where uh, this I'll just give you an example uh, in this table I have machine um, so that's just random number so a, a random name A to J these are my machines and uh, this is the machine type so what I what the, what I want to do is all of these machines listed over here has all of these characteristics right so all of these machines are heavy electrical class A and made in Japan right all of these machines what I want to achieve here now is I want to have all of these machines to have a machine type column and like A the machine A will have all of these characteristics, machine B will have all of these characteristics, machine C will have all of these characteristics and so on, right? But in Power BI, um, how do I do that? Because there is no relationship between, there is no common common column between these tables, so how do I uh, do the cross join? So I'm going to show you this in Power Query so no, I'm not using DAX so this is one of my videos from mQuery uh, playlist Power Query playlist so let's try to do this in Power Query right so I this is very simple as I said I make a very simple tips and tricks video so nothing complex you don't have to uh, scratch your head about ha ah, what's what's he doing and what else so anyway let's get started so it's very simple it's gonna be five not not even five minutes video not even two minutes actually so what I need to do here to cross join all of these columns to all of the machine columns is first I'm going to add a column which will be a custom column okay and in the custom column I'm gonna give this a column let's say any name like common common so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a value of 1 for this column okay and it's gonna set a uh, value of 1 for this column so what I'm going to do is repeat the same step for this one as well so that would be like go common let's go for name common and value of 1 so now what I have as you might have guessed is a common column which is one for all of these and one for all of these now what we can do is now we can merge these two tables based on that common column so merge I'm going to use the common column as a common uh, column for both of the table and I'm going to do uh, should I do left outer join yes why not let's go left outer join and I'm going to expand all of the machine types I don't want the common and I'm not going to use the prefix and go there you go so we have got the cross join table now remove that column and we have all of the machine having all of the characteristic from this second table which is the machine time so this is pretty easy and a very uh, helpful tips and tricks as well this will help you uh, in so many scenarios and uh, let me give you another tip as well which is a performance uh, tr uh, tips which uh, you know I got this column and most people normally do is this is either text or um, number which uh, Power BI automatically detects uh, and what I've seen is normally go and go more normally people do is go here and change the data type to number 
and so on so if you want to get rid of that one extra steps extra step so what do you want to do you can go here and go type uh, go number that will be a decimal value right if you want to go integer that will go int either 32 type or 64 type so for this one it's int 64 type uh, what's the problem here oh yeah with the int 64 you don't put type so if you want to put a type text go type uh, text that will um, that would allow you to not uh, add that extra steps you know I've seen people doing com creating a custom column and changing the data type later and that give that adds some extra steps so you don't want to do that anyway so this is all for this video just wanted to show you a quick uh, trick on how to do cross joins in Power BI uh, please like the video if you uh, like the video and put your comments uh, your comments will really help me put more contents uh, and more videos and uh, yep thank you for watching this video I'll see you next time keep supporting me please